three out of four child car seats are installed incorrectly. But when you install a Britax car seat featuring ClickTight, you'll know it's right. Now every mom, dad, and grandparent will experience the confidence that comes with a secure install in every car, every time. Introducing the Evenflow Triumph LX, a convertible car seat that can support babies from 5 to 40 pounds in rear-facing mode and children from 22 to 65 pounds in forward-facing mode. Voted the number one car seat by a leading consumer magazine, the Triumph LX was designed with both you and your baby in mind. At Evenflow, we recognize that no two children are exactly alike. Our unique infinite slide system allows for quick and easy harness customization and proper fit for your growing child. There is zero need for harness rethreading as you simply slide the harness to create a tailored fit for your child. Tightening your child's harness on the Triumph LX is just a few clicks away with Tension Right. You simply turn the knob located on either side of the car seat to automatically tighten the harness on your child, ensuring a proper fit. When it's time to remove your child from the seat, you'll simply press the upfront harness release button, loosen the straps, and unsnap the chest clip and buckle. The Triumph LX's recline right lever allows you to adjust and lock the seat into one of three different recline positions. The Triumph LX with the tether, latch connectors, tension right, and comfortable fabrics is one of the most fully featured in our unique line of Evenflow convertible car seats. Three out of four child car seats are installed incorrectly. But when you install a Britax car seat featuring ClickTight, you'll know it's right. Now every mom, dad, and grandparent will experience the confidence that comes with a secure install in every car, every time. Okay, guys, ready to go. ClickTight from Britax, the leader in safety technology, changing car seat installation forever. This video is a guide to help make it easier to use your Grow and Go. Please be sure to read the complete instruction book, which includes important warnings and other information. Before installing the Grow and Go, make sure the buckle and harness are adjusted correctly. First, to adjust the buckle location, recline the Grow and Go to find the metal retainer on the underside of the seat. Slide the metal retainer up through the seat. Keep in mind you must use the first or second buckle slot when installing rear facing. Put the metal retainer back into the desired location and pull up to make sure the buckle is secure. Next, adjust the shoulder harness to the correct location. Use the quick fit system on the top of the headrest to adjust the shoulder height. Loosen the harness by pressing down on the metal adjuster under the pad on the front of the seat and pulling on the harness straps. Then, rotate the quick fit handles in and lift the headrest into the desired position. Choose the correct harness position based on your child's height. When installing rear facing, the harness shoulder height must be at or just below your child's shoulders. Before installing the Grow and Go in your car, read your vehicle owner's manual. This contains important warnings and information to make sure the seat is properly installed. Place the car seat in the back of your vehicle. Adjust the angle of the car seat with the recline system. 
For smaller children who cannot sit upright unassisted, always install the car seat so that the line on the side of the car seat is parallel with the ground. Children who can sit upright on their own can use the seat more upright in the car. Now, route the latch belt through the rear-facing belt path. Take care not to twist the belt. Attach the latch hooks to the latch anchor locations in your vehicle. Tighten the latch belt by pulling up on the free end and pushing down on the car seat. Check the install by pushing and pulling the car seat at the belt path. If it does not move more than an inch, it's good to go. If the seat moves too much, try to pull more slack from the latch belt, or try installing with the vehicle belt, or try another seating position in the car. Now you are nearly done. Place your child in the seat and buckle the chest clip and buckle. Tighten the harness by pulling the strap on the front of the seat. Adjust the chest clip so that it's mid-chest level with your child's armpits. Pinch the harness at your child's shoulders to see if it is tight enough. If it is tight, you will not be able to pinch webbing between your thumb and index finger. If you can pinch material, pull a bit more on the tightening strap on the front of the car seat. Hi, I'm Tamiko from Graco, and I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the car seat cover on the ExtendFit convertible car seat. The first thing we're going to do is remove your infant head and body support in the harness covers. So what I like to do is actually loosen the harness strap, so just press on the button in the front and pull your harness. Then you can undo your chest clip and your crotch buckle. Once you've done that, you can easily pull out the body support and make sure you work around the buckle. And then for the head support, you just pull that through the slot and that comes out nice and easy and then we'll also take off our harness covers. So now that you have those off, just make sure you put these away in a safe place so you don't lose any of those. So the next thing we're gonna do is remove the headrest cover off of the headrest. So what I like to do is actually move the headrest up just so I have easier access to the elastic loops. So if you look on the side of the seat at the bottom, you have an elastic loop down here on both sides, so we'll undo those. And then you'll also notice on the back of the seat there's two additional elastic loops. So you undo those. Now you're just gonna move your headrest, work it around your harness straps, and then you should be able to pull off the cover. Next, I'm gonna show you how to release the harness straps from the splitter plate. So turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna detach the harness straps from the splitter plate. So the splitter plate keeps your harness straps nice and secure. So we're just gonna undo those on both sides. Now that I've undone the splitter plate, I can actually pull the harness straps through the seat. So you just pull these through the front of the seat. Should come out nice and easy. Next, we're gonna remove the seat pad cover from the seat. So what I like to do is actually recline the seat and release the extension panel. Because what we have here is elastic loops and this is the best way to get to it. So we'll undo those on both sides. Once you have those undone, you can put your extension panel back in and put your seat upright. So now you can just start to work your cover off of your seat. So you can just work around the cup holders and then make sure you pull through your buckle. And then for your harness straps, those are gonna come through the seat as well. So you're gonna make sure your buckle as well as your chest clip go through the slot in the seat cover. So as you start pulling your seat cover off, make sure you also release from the corner. Do that on both sides. And now that we've gotten to the back of the seat, we're actually gonna put down the headrest. Turn in the seat because I want you to also see that there's two elastics back here, so make sure you undo those. Okay. So now that we have that undone, we should be able to easily pull off our seat cover. And you can just put that to the side. And now you've removed your soft goods from your Xenofit convertible car seat. Now that your car seat cover is clean, we're ready to replace the soft goods. Just make sure you have all of your parts. The first thing we're going to do is put your seat pad cover back on. So this is the largest piece that you have. So I like to place it on top and then just work around the headrest. So now we're going to turn this to the back because we need to attach these elastics. Once you grab your elastic, you're going to attach it to the metal clip. And you'll do this on both sides. Okay. Then you can flip your seat back around. And as you're going around, make sure that your fabric is over the side of your seat. You do that on both sides. 
Okay, so next what we're going to do is actually move the harness straps back through the seat cover as well as the crotch buckle. Okay, so now that I have all those pieces, I also will make sure that my harness strap adjuster goes through the hole as well. Now that we've done that, we can start to work our soft goods around our cup holder and the rest of our seat. You'll also have two elastics that you need to attach. The best way to access them is to recline the seat and also pull out the extension panel. So you'll find your elastic loop on the front of the seat. Then you just pull that through. And you attach it to the metal clip that's on the side. And you do this on both sides. So now that you have those attached, you can put your extension panel back in, put your seat upright, make sure your soft goods are nice and tucked on the front. Next, we're gonna connect the harness straps to the splitter plate. So the easiest way to do this is to adjust the headrest to the top position. Make sure that you can see these holes here because that's where you're gonna put your harness strap. So you'll line up each side. So make sure your right harness strap goes through the hole on the right side. The left harness strap goes through the hole on the left side. Make sure you don't have any twists in your harness straps. So now I'm turning it to the back. I'm gonna grab my splitter plate, which is from underneath your seat. Also make sure this strap isn't twisted. And then I'm gonna connect my harness straps on each side. So as you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you continue to pull through the harness strap until you can see the other side of the splitter plate. So that's what it should look like. You can do this on both sides. And then I just like to give it a little nice little tug, make sure it's on there. Now that our harness straps are connected, we're gonna move on to replacing the headrest cover. So what I like to do is work over the top and then work my way around the sides. Next thing we're gonna do is attach the elastic that's at the top. I'm gonna spin this around. And just make sure your cover is all the way over your car seat. So now we're gonna take our elastic loops and stick them through the holes at the bottom and attach to the hook at the top. Then we'll turn it to the side because we also have elastic loops here. So you'll pull those and attach to the hook on both sides. The next thing we're gonna do is just make sure that our harness straps are in front of the backrest cover. So you'll just move those into the slots that are here, making sure nothing is twisted. So next we're ready to replace our infant head and body support as well as the harness covers. So first we're gonna start with the head support. You're gonna make sure you just put this through the slot on the headrest, just slide it through. The next thing we're gonna do is lower our headrest. As you're doing this, just make sure that this backrest flap is in the front. So sometimes what we see is that people put this behind the seat cover and that's not the correct way. You wanna make sure that it's in the front. The next thing we're gonna do is replace our body support. So make sure your body support, the holes on the bottom are lined up with the holes that are on the seat pad. And also remember that depending on what position your buckle is in, it's the same position you'll wanna use on the support. So this one is in the slot that's closest to the center of the seat. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the support. And you can pull your harness strap around the support as well. Next thing you wanna do is attach your crotch buckle. And then you can add on your harness covers. Just make sure your hook and loop is on the outside. And then you can fasten your chest clip. And now you can just tighten your harness straps by pulling on the strap in the front of the seat. And now you've replaced your car seat cover on your Extendifet convertible car seat.